Hey, what's going on everybody? Thank you for coming back for another quick video. Today, I'm just going to uh, share a few things I picked up at the, the local card show over the past uh, past weekend. And these cards I just didn't have before. Start off with some of these uh, rookie cards. Got Brandon Woodruff. I think this is 2017 or was it 2018? Uh, 2018. So uh, Dansby's uh, rookie debut. A couple of Max Freed rookie cards. Uh, Walker Bueller. I think I have one of these, but I, I wasn't sure, so I picked it up. Uh, this cool uh, Nolan Ryan. Haven't seen that one before. It's a it's like a reprint of the Kellogg's, and this one came out in eighty. That's eighty one, so it's not a reprint. It's just um, you know, one of those lenticular style cards. Got the eighty one tops, which I don't think I had this one. I'm building the set. It's a little bit, you know little corner damage there but that's all good and uh tommy john 1973 had to get all these i think they were a, a dollar each so went through the dollar bin and uh picked those out and i also got a stack of 1971 tops here as you can see and uh just run through these real quick got 108 cards and you can see there some of them are a little worse for the wear but um like this kurt flood but um all these cards were about 10 cents a piece, so I picked them all up, and um, let me see. I think I am more than 50% done with the 71 set now after picking all these up, and um, I did make special connotations on my on my list uh, for some of these cards, like that um, Kurt Flood that I had. Obviously, I'm going to want to replace that, but... These cards, uh, you know, all this vintage stuff is just getting harder and harder to find, and the prices are not going down. Even when there's lulls in the market, in the card market, these really don't lose value um, from what I can see, from what I've seen in the past. Um, so I figured I would at least get, uh, even if the card was creased up or had, you know, some uh, writing on it, um, I figured I'd pick them up while I could, just in case. Never know what's going to happen with, with these sets. So there was a few uh, high numbers that I also got. And um, so, yeah, this was uh, from the card show, like I said, Diamond Nine in, in uh, Placentia, California. There's Tommy Agee. Um, they do a, a show every Saturday, so I made my way down there, and um, this this is actually from the the the. Sorry, losing my train of thought. <laughs> from the inventory of the owner of the card shop, he has a bunch of old uh, commons that you can go through, and a little table to sit down and check off your list, and you know, very generous, super helpful. Loves helping people. Uh, put their sets together. He has really hooked me up a lot um, over the past year or so that I've been going there. And um, he's just, just a, a great guy, loves the game, loves the, loves the hobby. So picked all those up. And um, yeah, I was super happy with those pickups, you know, out the door for about $23, I think it was. So I'm gonna wrap, wrap, I'm gonna rip, I'm not gonna wrap. You'll never hear me rap, you guys. I'm going to rip a pack of uh, this Panini product, Panini Capstone 2022. Um, I did pull one auto already from this hobby box, and uh, I'm hoping for uh, for another auto at some point. Also got another, we got a Relic, we got a, a Beau Bichette numbered card, and um, let's see if we can get anything cool here. Already got the Julio Rodriguez as well. So, starting with Jaron Duran, rookie card. Gavin Sheets, rookie card. Nolan Arenado. Great Mike Trout. Here's the red parallel, one per pack, and that's Matt Brash on his rookie card. Ha Song Kim. Hans Kraus, rookie, and... Velo Carlos Rodon, the newest Yankee. So you guys, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share some of those pickups and do a little bit of a pack rip real quick. 
nice trout. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You guys have a great day. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now.